What we're looking at now is the forward FX points. Now a forward FX point is also referred to as this pip, like the pip in an apple or swap points. And what it denotes is the difference between the spot FX rate and the forward FX rate. Now, when you look at an FX quote, normally it will go out to four decimal places. That fourth decimal place, that's an FX pip or FX point. Now, the depressing thing is that if you trade in the professional markets now, there are so many players in the market that major currencies like Euro dollar will actually be quoted out to six decimal places. So if you really want to make money, you need a lot of volatility. So you have a chance to cross bid offers, cover your costs and make a bit of money. What you don't want is to have a range bound currency. Now, we said that the difference between the spot and the forward are the pips or points. And you have to learn in the markets when you add or subtract these points. Now let's take an example on Euro dollar. So for one Euro, you're looking at getting so many dollars. You can see here in this quote that the pips go from a low number on the left side to a high number on the right, from 6.02 to 6.08. If the numbers go from low to high, you add the pips onto the forward FX quote. Now the interest differential between Euro and the dollar is so tiny that the forward points of only six points, it's nothing. And so you can see that when we add the forward points onto the spot rate, the forward FX rate, which is also called the forward outright, it means the same thing. Basically, it hasn't changed that much. Now let's take another example. Uh, what I want to do is I want to look at dollar yen. I want to look at an example where the variable currency, the yen, has actually got a lower interest rate than the base currency, the dollar. Now here we've got an example where dollar yen is trading such that one dollar gets you 109 yen and 29 sen. Although the dollar has the higher interest rate, it will have the weaker forward FX rate, which means that today, although you can earn 109 yen 29, in the future, you won't be earning so many yen. Now, if you look at the forward points, they're going from a high number to a low number, aren't they? So if it goes from high to low, you subtract the forward points. So in this case, the dollar would be trading at a discount, the yen at a premium, because at a future point in time, the yen is stronger. So imagine if you're Japanese today and you want to go to America, you have to hand over 109 yen 29 to get a dollar. But in a year's time, you'll only have to hand over 106 yen and so many sen. So the yen is getting stronger in this case. Now, if you're not sure when you see the forward points, should I be adding them? Should I be subtracting them? Just think about the interest rates. Just look at the interest rate on the variable currency. If the variable currency has the higher interest rate, it will have the weaker forward FX rate. And likewise, if the variable currency has a lower interest rate, it will have a stronger forward FX rate. So it's all to do with interest differentials. That's all forward points are really reflecting.